Welcome back to the Faux Scottman Report, where we have the Faux, which is not here today. Yeah, well, <laughs> we have the Scott, which is yours truly. We have the we that is secretly silent. Si- still silent. And we have the man. I no, am. just don't, don't even, don't, I, I saw you going for it. I don't want to give them that. This is like no a, ASMR podcast. This is he, he, did it last, he did it last podcast. I, well, I, 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 I saved everyone for today. Unless he, out of nowhere, just rolled in the mic. <laughs> That's not what I do. But well, with that being said, uh, today's podcast. Do we want? How do we want to start this off? I, I feel have, like I still, you're the man with the bag. I'm, should I we get? Have a bag. Should we get the metaphorical elephant out of the room? I mean, or it could just stay here and just you know <laughs> just look its best. Stay. That <laughs> elephant needs to get out of this room. What do you mean? He's Why the elephant being none other than four different types of Pringles flavors? We got barbecue, yeah. pizza, underrated, ranch, my favorite one, and. Buffalo Ranch. I've not had those ones. So we actually, we have Parker has had three of the four that are here, and then I have you know, myself a drink. <laughs> the, 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 by, this by, is, by far the most sugary Mountain Dew you could get. You betcha. But yeah. Right. I, I'm, I'm excited for this, because honestly, Pringles are right. Yeah, I haven't had Pringles in ages, and DJ, uh, well, I'm just going to call him DJ since, you know, uh, his code name. Yeah. But, uh, he showed me Buffalo Ranch and pizza, yeah. which all I had in my entire life was just the original kind. The, yeah, the original so I've been, you know, I've been have you had the the naked in the wild. What? Have you had the sour cream and onion? I, I, yes, I have. I've actually okay. had that. It's good. I'm not. I'm actually, hot take, I don't like any sour cream and onion. Really? really? I've you never had one I've liked. Try the actually, goldfish. Actually, no, scratch that. I actually like Ruffles. Okay, Ruffles yes. is good. But Lay's version is horrendous. Oh, yeah, yes. it's, I'm not a fan And of then, it. like, Pringles version, I'm just not. I'd rather have the Pringles. There's one area that I couldn't find. I don't know. My parents always get them every now and then. It's goldfish sour cream and onions. And I, they're the best type of sour cream and onions. And I have every, to have you try them. Everyone knows the best kind of goldfish are the pretzels. Because, oh, yeah. Because, you see, it's, no. No, no, nobody watching knows anything about us like in journalism cheddar. class. But in oh. journalism class, every day, I eat a bag of pretzels. The man just always... Just like leaves class and always comes back with a bag of pretzels. See, I love pretzels, and so the goldfish pretzels are <sighs> truly <Yeah>. immaculate. <laughs> but we're back on the topic of Pringles. Okay, back to the topic. Because buy- I just popped one one. it open. Get, get get a good taste of this. DJ said Buffalo Ranch is not that good. The taste is there really quick, and then it's gone. I would expect so, so because a lot get, of get a, get a good taste. It. You want? Do you wish to get a taste? No, no, we're fine. Alright, you guys have a taste. I'm gonna open up the other uh, I, have, I have to do medical procedures. Medical procedures, so I'll let you do that. How does it taste, Parker? Give me give me a give me a taste. To be honest, I think it doesn't taste bad. I actually like yeah. that. I would eat that, but I think I've had it, it had it, it's not just straight up buffalo flavor. It kind of like reminds me of eating it's like a wing flavored chip. It tastes yeah, like you're eating a wing, chicken wing. Buffalo ranch. I feel like, like I've had this before. Chip. It's just I didn't. I don't know if I liked it or not. And like, and he said the flavor hits you all at once. There, I feel like the flavor just isn't that powerful. But yeah, because like it's, it's there, there and then chip. it goes. Yeah, it's a very weak chip. It's good. It's not my favorite though. I think honestly, ranch still is king for me. Ranch in the original. You just, wanna, you, just wanna, oh, you just gotta get a rain check. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Since we're doing all mm-hmm. this, I feel like I saw this out of the corner of my eye. I feel you have to wear this because. The, oh, ra- the, br- the Pringles, the Pringles, uh, professional oh, yeah, has I, to be wearing a I, cowboy hat. Honestly, I'm just a chip connoisseur because potato chips are probably my favorite snack. I'm a burger connoisseur. I love cheeseburgers. I want to go to In and Out one day to see oh, how good because like, but like top dog so much. Honestly, if we're gonna talk about chips, like I, I could honestly just branch out and like that. The best bag of chips ever that I've ever had. Kitchen cooked, Louisiana style, uh, like spicy chips. By the the one with like the red and yellow bag, yeah, so good. I can eat an entire bag of those in like two seconds. I don't even know. What but have you had the munchies about. before? Like those, the, yeah. like the old brand. I feel like they're pretty good. So after eating lunch, so, lays and stuff. Like so that. you know when you go to the store and you look at the potato chip section, there's the white bag with like the red, like the red thing on the top and the bottom, and it has like white stripes on it. Uh, I believe so. Uh, so th- those those like the kitchen cooked or like kettle cooked chips. Okay. And there's another one that they have which is which has red with yellow stripes. That's Louisiana style barbecue, something like that, and it's 
It's, it's, it's their spicier tip. It actually packs quite the punch for a pretty standard one. Show the camera this, this that, stack that I made with pizza, buffalo, ranch, bar- barbecue, and some ranch. But uh, also they have another one, which is just standard barbecue, which is black with the pizza stripes. But the red and yellow striped one, they're, they're amazing. But the best Lay's potato chip, which this is a massive, massive hot take on my part. I know I say that quite often, but I have heard nobody praise this chip apart from me and my dad. Dill pickles. Ew. Dill pickles. They are so good. I, I, I taste them every now and then. I'm all right with them here. Take the first. Yeah, I, I, I washed my hands. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> but, uh, I can use some give us that rain check of uh, every Pringle that we have here. So we have a buffalo... Buffalo ranch a, pizza. A buffalo barbecue ranch pizza flavored chip. With butter. Um, just as a, as a, as a dress to skip. Let's get it. All right. The crunch. Take a bite to get the silence. Out. The patience. The, the mere thought. It's not the best mixture I've ever had, but it does taste pretty good. Okay, but now that's just adding all four tastes. And go, get, go ahead, try, try all four of them. Yes, okay. let's all get morbidly obese as the Americans <laughs> that we are. As the Americans as that the we are, Americans. we have to do it in the exact order too, which I did. Pizza yeah, buffalo. You, but you're about to not remember, like. Oh uh, yeah, I already forgot. Oh shit, which Pringles did I already grab? Oh, I mean, bleep, bleep that out. Leave that out. Leave that out. Leave that out. <laughs> Leave that out. <laughs> the, 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 the disappointment. Side. I have to edit this. I hate it. I already forgot. What uh, I oh yeah, the uh, ranch was on top. So I am I'm also gonna, gonna say, don't be surprised if those uh, ranch chips are good. I don't like <laughs> ranch chips. Just try not to eat all of them in the in the first session. At least like try and hold back because I want to have some of them for a more aggressive overview. But yeah, I mean the mixture wasn't bad. Not the best I've ever had, but it was it was alright. Whoa. Yeah. I never had like all of the Pringles mixed up together. It's and an, the amount of flavor that comes out. It's of an here. art form. It's truly an art form. Really? I mean, <laughs> well, because now like Pringles has fully settled into the whole like stacking your chips thing. Like that's part of their ad campaigns now and everything. And I'm down for it. It's awesome. It's a smart way of doing it because you buy more types of Kringle cans, get some Kringle more money. Cans. Kringle cans. My voice. Today. I didn't love Kringles. Let me tell you, Kringle. Chris, Chris Kringle making his potato <laughs> chips. It's thank you, jolly old Saint Nicholas. Um, yeah. sadly, Bo isn't here because I already know one of his topics, which slightly changed to the the Pringles look of <coughs> the okay. can. I will agree. Downgrading Mr. Pringles' new look, which I know the camera will not pick this up in high detail. It is dumb. He looks for anybody who lives under a rock. He looks dead because you see he looks flattened. He looks like he got hit by a flat, like a, a steel. If roller. you could uh, please pull up the yeah. original, Mr. The Pringle. original. If you he had so much life, his mustache was actually detailed. You could see strings in the mustache. He actually had some hair going exactly. on, very little, but he honestly looked like the Monopoly guy. My man guy. turned into an egg. He Look just, at that. Well, because this brings up the broader subject of oversimplified logos, which I get it. Some of them look really good, but some like Pringles. You ruined an iconic look for such a great mascot. Mm-hmm. It hurts. It, it Which we'll hurt. probably be having this topic again when Bo comes back because he did an actual like whole like thing on this. I don't know what it was like a paper. Yeah, no. But yeah, look at that. Look that, at the difference. That's just well because even like the font change, I'm not that into either because the because like the weird like he lost his bow tie. Companies really loved it. Well, on this can he did. Oh. Because I, I, I guess there's two variations where they kept the original right here. font. There it is. Okay. But, like, I don't know. Like, he looks just depressed. He looks, he, he looks, he like looks he's... black and white like we went back in the bad days. I mean, all the good days. We'll say good days, but. But, I mean, like, his mustache got bigger, but it just got empty. Yeah. Like, it just took up. I WTF mean, is Pringles' new logo. I mean, like, plus the bow tie, I believe. No, the bow tie's something. Yeah, yeah, but like the mustache is a lot more detailed, and he, he just looks a lot. He's just like sad. Life, Mr. Pringle did not deserve this. Still, this four stack, like this is the first like stack I've ever had of different tasting Pringles because I've always had one type, and that's it. All I had was original Cool Ranch, Cool Ranch, and what is it? Uh, cool Ranch is Doritos. Not, not Cool Ranch. Uh, ranch. 
What's the other type of? Because I haven't had this brand sour, before. Sour cream, sour cream and onion. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, this is amazing. Actually, if you do want to talk about one really, really bad chip, cheddar and sour cream, they are not good. Really? Even Ruffles' version I don't like. And Ruffles, like the chips that I don't like, Ruffles makes good versions of those, like, oh, yeah. sa- like sour cream and onion. Yeah. I do not like their cheddar and sour cream. Really? I didn't that's know a, that's a thing. Yeah, it it's, is. It's really good. I don't know. I Even don't. Lay's. Lay's is not bad. Well, I'm pretty sure one episode we actually had those chips, and I did eat them, and I'm like, man, these still aren't that great, in my opinion. Because when, yeah. when it comes to Ruffles, I mean, their normal potato chips are amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, Ruffles is definitely not my first option when it comes to chips. I immediately go to Kitchen Cook. Kitchen yeah. Cook chips overall are just they're, – they're, they're the goats. Or, or Kettle Cook. I think they're just a little itself. too hard for a chip. Like they're a little Well, too I mean, they just have a much more defined flavor in my opinion. Because, yeah, it's a little bit more crunchy and hard, but the flavor, I think, is a little bit more there. Plus, if you've never had sea salt and vinegar Kitchen Cook chips, which Ooh. they're so good. Ew. They're delish. The, I I figured out from many people that that's a love or a hate shit. Oh, so there's no in between. Yeah, there yeah. is none. There's I know no in between. I know. I know someone who says salt and vinegar chips are the best chips. I know someone who says they are the worst. There's that, that never, we? <laughs> the, there's, okay. never, there's never been anyone who who says like, ah, like yeah it's all right I'll eat it. I've never seen anyone say like oh well, it's mid like it's either it's well, good. That'd, or be it's bad. The, that'd be the first person because I've never had them. Well, I feel like I feel like they'd just be okay. Like I would have a few bites, but that's about it. Yeah, like I said, it's a very well. Have you ever had vinegar straight? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah when like I was shot, really maybe. little, when I was yeah. really little, no, I had to drink it for a punishment. But Ugh. Uh, yeah, I drink it in my free time. <laughs> what is wrong with you? A lot of things. I shot, over here, my I so. naturally drink drink that, that fully. I've had that problem too. Drink. I I. When I was a kid, I drank. I drank it. You you drank. I drank. There we go. That's the drank. Right word. You drank. Just, you just drank. I drank. Okay. <laughs> okay. I drank. English people, we are very English, <laughs> mother flubber. Do you speak it? I actually thought you were about to say the no. real thing. I'm like, wait, wait. <laughs> I saw the hand wave, mother flubber. But yeah. Oh, uh, we should have had. We should have had Jorge, our uh, our mascot, been the Pringles uh, logo. For this, uh, Honestly, Jorge we, would be a better Pringles logo. <laughs> we should we should actually oversimplify Jorge more than he's already simplified. For, for how? This, for, how do you simplify? A how do you simplify the Pringles logo? Like, right the there's staff. no reason. Make make Jorge black and white. Instead, we are, he's instead, already black and white. <laughs> how about instead of like the slant, like the vertical slant eyes, you just do dots. Exactly. Uh, no, 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 I know how to simplify. We we do those little like comma thingies and then the apostrophe. <laughs> that that's oversimplifying Jorge. Poor Jorge. And for the people who don't know who Jorge is, that's our that's our little mascot. That's the little smiley face on the Oh Scottman report. Yep, Jorge himself. That's Jorge. I'm a, I'm a Jorge. He was named uh two podcasts. Uh, I, I, I it was during our spook. Uh, yes, spooky he was edition. named. He, yeah. he was named during spook weekly. So I'm about to just yeah. I'm about to just stack pizza ranch and buffalo ranch together in like an actual way a pizza would be so pizza. Oh smart. Pizza, pizza and then I'd have buffalo ranch on top and then the barbecue was a top. I don't tell you. No, I do. Buffalo ranch. Just barbecue. Just buffalo barbecue. ranch ranch. Work. Buffalo ranch ranch and pizza is better than the all four. I feel like I had ranch on the top. They got like some of the barbecue away because right as I had it, barbecue just over. You know, honestly, the flavor. out of all these, I so like I'm just gonna like further to the left is how much I like it. Barbecue's yeah. barbecue's last for me for some reason. Bruh. There we go. So that's my ranch is number one. Buffalo ranch is two. Pizza three. And see, like barbecue is a good flavor. I'm not saying barbecue's bad. I actually really like it. Problem is, it's a very boring flavor. Sometimes. I feel like. It's really it's like the one of the stronger Pringle flavors because they just Pringles definitely doesn't the they yeah. definitely don't do it best. Lay's hits that barbecue hard in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Their, their barbecue chips are okay. pretty good. I, their honey barbecue is fine. <laughs> their honey barbecue have, is good. Their I'm regular gonna, barbecue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it my own way. I'm gonna. Oh, I am gonna be each, the real. Well, way. we can do the same with you, Kate. I'll do mine first. You guys can keep talking, but I'm, I'm gonna do a flavor test and I'm gonna show you which one I think's best. But we're gonna start with ranch. You guys. Take take the podcast for a moment. But, I gotta I gotta okay. be in the be but, in the moment, be in the Gordon like, Ramsay myself. 
Honey barbecue is good. I'd say it's more mid, if anything. But I've always liked Lay's barbecue for some reason. It's not it's not the best barbecue. Again, kitchen it, cooks, their barbecue chips are second to none, but for me it tastes like cardboard. I get that. Yeah. Because their potato chips, let's be honest, they're the McDonald's of potato chips. Yeah. They're really not potato chips. They're just kinda like eh. Well no, it's like I don't know what they put on for their like seasoning, but it just it tastes like cardboard. I this don't is why, understand why. This, this is why he actually lays kitchen cooks a lot more, because their kitchen cook chips are legitimately better quality. Yes, I will say that. Yes. They're they, like, they're cooked versions of them. However, the cooked versions have less flavors. Like you can't get something like dill pickle or something like that in keto cook. You have to you get you get the sea salt and vinegar, uh you get barbecue, I know that you get what tastes like cardboard, sorry. Uh Lay's barbecue. I've never had that. And you can also get the jalapeno chips, which I, I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for spicy foods, so yeah. I can destroy. But I am too. But how? Just no. Destroy okay. jalapeno. No. So I got my flavors in. I think buffalo ranch is the best. All right, fair. Ranch in a close second. Barbecue third, and then pizza fourth. I feel like when I had the pizza, I didn't taste that much. Yeah, pizza is a very odd flavor. It doesn't taste like pizza, but it tastes good. It, it tastes good, it's but weird. it's like. Pizza, not the good it's, definition. It's okay for a definition for actually, a Pringle, but like, I don't know what else to call it. I actually, I actually think I know I'm going to make my topic since we're, since you talked about pizza, but we will get to that. Spoiler alert, mine's going to be about pizza. <laughs> okay. All right, Peyton. You this, do the final. This will just be the food. All right, no, mine. All right, right. No. Oh, you already know that the, you're, yes. you already had all of them? Yes. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So right, we're going uh, from... from right is best, left is the least of Bruh, really my heart is so. shattered. <laughs> I hate it. You hate you hate the ranch. Yes. I I'm at least happy that Buffalo Ranch stayed in Bu- close second or first. Buffalo Ranch for all of us has been okay. Yeah. It's been best. Best. Yeah. The this is second, but not by far. This is third. They're both not by far, but Buffalo Ranch is better. Ranch, no. That, that well, can, that can stay out. Don't mind if I do. do. <laughs> yeah. Well, next we, next time, actually, as a matter of fact, maybe I'll get four new flavors. Yeah. I saw jalapeno. And I also saw like some. You other can get like their sour cream and onion too, since apparently they have a burger as well, like hamburger. Yeah, I saw that. They a hamburger. Yeah. I feel like they also came out with like some pepper one. Not um, not jalapeno. Um, oh <laughs> god, I know what you're talking guacamole. about. Guacamole. It's not a pepper. It's an avocado. I know, but <laughs> I just felt like guacamole. I feel like they would make that a flavor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they make guacamole a flavor in the future, and this just imagine how good. ugly that chip would look. I feel green, like green seasoning. Yeah, I can't, I've green. never seen a green seasoning before. Oh, oh what is that? Those Wendy's, Wendy's chicken ones—they're actually really good. Wait, these are actually <laughs> I've never seen. I have Wait, eaten those. I have eaten those, and they are really good. Only eleven stuff. They're sixty bucks. They're worth it. They're good. Do they still? I wonder. If they, do they still make these, or are these yeah. just left? Left. They for, still. They still make. Wait. Them. Oh, three canisters for sixty though. That, I got. That's... I got all of these plus a Mountain Dew for nine ninety eight. Welcome to. Well, you uh, also got figure these America. are like limited edition. Oh, but they, dude, are they though? Honestly, I was super surprised. Yes. I took a bite of one. I was like, oh, that's good. Next thing I do, I ate almost half the <laughs> like the entirety of <laughs> okay, the. Okay, Parker. Hold on. What my, is my, this? Do I have money? I don't. Pringles I never have. Euro? I have one singular dollar. I'm not going to give you that though. Salt What's and that? pepper. That's what it is. Salt, salt and pepper. That just. That doesn't. Uh, that doesn't just, I mean, like, like I like salt and pepper. Uh, <laughs> but in a, to just on a chip. Yeah. That, that's. Uh, I don't. Well, I'll figure that out next time when we do on our next uh, folks got report. I have. I have a good Pringles flavor. Flavor. Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Ranch times two. Double the Extra ranch. ranch. Honey mustard. Honey mustard. I've, I've never been a fan of mustard. Honey mustard is the best kind of mustard. Yo, ketchup. <laughs> yeah, all right, look. <laughs> ketchup no. chips taste hey, good. Hey, what? That's a thing. What? Ketchup chips are, well, and see, because of Canada. Canada's most popular potato chip is ketchup chips. But see, they start. They started out of the co- they started out of the combination of people the geese, putting ketchup the on their potato chips. A ketchup. I actually used to do that where I would drizzle ketchup on my potato chips and it tastes. Really I had good. Ke- when I was a kid. Don't judge me <laughs> the here. The face you're making. Are you disappointed? Uh, he's he's more of like discombobulated. I'm, I say. Let's be honest. Putting ketchup on potato chips is an American thing to do at a cookout. 
It's the most American thing. No, no, it's not. <laughs> if Canada started it first, it's Canadian. <laughs> Go back to Canada. <laughs> Are you secretly a goose? Montreal, Montreal, I'm coming back. <laughs> are you are you a secretly a goose uh, man? A, a, a goose man? A goose, goose man? man? I almost called you Nate, so I just went goose <laughs> man. My, uh, yes, perhaps I am a goose. Well, okay, I, I have to side with him for one thing only. Well, when I was a kid, up. I I made, and I kid you not, I made a Ruffles ketchup salad. I drizzled what? like slight ketchup on like a like, of like a, a bowl of ruffles, mix it around, and then I ate it as if it was a salad because my parent I never was a salad person. I never okay. liked salad, and so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have a salad with my parents. The only good salad is root beer. And then I root stopped. I stopped putting ketchup on my chips when I threw up the, the, the <laughs> night of having too much of ketchup. You know, actually, that that will come back to relate to my pizza topic. <laughs> <laughs> they will. Honestly, no, though, I I'm just disappointed after this. <laughs> I'm extremely disappointed. When have you not been disappointed in me? I mean, fair enough. Mean man. Yeah. Goddamn, the only time I haven't disappointed you is R6. Sometimes. Mm. Yeah, you know <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit, Parker. I said shit. I said sh- S-H-I, which actually stands <laughs> for, uh, sh- shit me. From uh, from uh, well, from the War of eighteen twenty two, uh, down in uh, New Mar- New New Orleans, Orleans. where basically uh, a you lot know, of actually, people were over uh, over on the the ocean. On, ocean. Sorry for that. Uh, uh, I don't know where pause, but uh, we did have my coach come in the talking list. about the, the, the list. list. The list himself. The list himself. L I S T. List. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I might be going to uh. Uh, to go into esports, but uh, I'm gonna have one last crunch of Ethan's flavor. So you can have get a get a good stack for the rest of the podcast, Parker. Since you're yeah. such a fan, I'm gonna just good. I'm, I'm gonna do the best one, which is the pizza, ranch, and buffalo ranch combo. <laughs> Welcome to the Post Government Report. Goes food. Yeah. But uh, I'll show these eggs. Glad this was actually a really good topic. We got some good laughs in it. A lot of a lot oh, of talking. Yeah. Thank you for the good food. No problem. Food and video food. games are best topics. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean, luckily my topic is about food. So. Yeah, yeah continue further. All right. Well, so we'll move on to my topic since you're about to depart and the Pringles have been closed. Scott will be heading out, but that was a great topic, you guys must say. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be hard. Well, I mean, podcasts usually are two people, so it's not going to be that bad. But Now it's just the man, but the we is silent. <laughs> <laughs> the one time when everyone's gone and it's just we it's just the report <laughs> where the we is silent we're just the, the we talking about world of world warships or of, of uh, we all war know, thunder that's we all know that's exactly what he'll do if he's doing a podcast by himself am i wrong not really <laughs> <laughs> all right hot and fortunate but uh hey i, I can't help but i'm a huge history nerd hey we can't blame you. Guns are cool. Guns are cool. That's an American thing. That's just an American trait of everybody. If you're not American, if you don't like guns, you're not American. Well, <laughs> all right. Hey, well, so to well, move well, on the political talk, <laughs> let's get into uh, pizza. All right. See, see a podcast. See you, the Scott. See you, so, the man and we. My, my topic is how pizza overall is the greatest food of all time. Okay. So. I've been eating pizza my whole life. I've never met anyone who dislikes pizza. Please don't tell me you're the one person. No, oh my god, life. no. <laughs> Are you? Look, man, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but like, no. So my dad's favorite food is pizza. So I always grew up eating it. And overall, even when pizza's like bad, it's still good. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, see, this weekend I ate pizza every day. I'm not kidding. I ate pizza on Friday. See, there's a. There's a limit to how much pizza you probably should have. Well, yeah, it is. It is not healthy. too healthy for you, but it was still delish. Because Friday night, I went to go see a movie. I, I actually went to go see Halloween Kills, but just for me. I will say it's a six out of ten. It's not the greatest movie of all time, but it's kind of cool. But so afterwards, me and my friend were sitting at our house. We're, we'll just call him the uh, the D D himself, like D E. Um, so the D, right? Me and him were sitting in my kitchen. we we were hungry because we only had popcorn. And I had a Jack's frozen pizza in the fridge, or in the freezer. Yeah. Now, Jack's frozen pizza is my favorite kind of frozen pizza. Thin crust, good. Yeah. It's nice. 
I mean, it's better than like DiGiorno, which is really weird. It's weird. it's more of like a um, I want to say ham pops, but it's supposed to be like rice and ham. Yeah, pops, so. it's supposed to be a bit more different. It, like it it works sometimes, but if you slightly undercook it, it's disgusting. Yeah, the dough is just all over the place. But so we heated up a Jack's pizza. We ate it. We enjoyed it. The next night, I had Little Caesars, which is my favorite fast food pizza place. I know, I know, it's greasy, but crazy bread and the deep dish, yeah, it yeah. it goes hard. And uh, then, I mean, right now, Pizza Hut is now my number one snack. Pizza Hut, because, yeah. I will tell you the experience I had, but once you're finished, I will tell you it. Yeah, well, actually, that's what I was going to lead into. How, like, overall, all the fast food pizza places. That's that. That was going to be like my thing where we're going to like talk and like okay. kind of like decide which ones are best and which ones are worst. Like, and so in our area, we do live in a pretty small ish yeah. area. Um. Like, we have one major location near us, and it's not the biggest place on earth, but it's slightly metropolitan. But um, we don't really have a lot of fast food options around here. It's always kind of the exact same places. But when it comes to pizza, we, we've always had the big four, which yeah. is Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, and Little Caesars. We used to have Hungry Howie's back in the day when I was, like, a baby, but then that went away, and then Little Caesars took over. Hungry Howie's. Yeah, like I said, that was a while ago. Yeah. But that's popular in other places. So yeah, we have the big four. Those are the only fast food pizza places I've ever had because obviously I not even Pizza Ranch. Oh well, yeah, that but that that, that that doesn't count as fast food, does it? It does. It's more about Taylor. Well, it still can be fast food. They can still go in there. I guess you are true, but like and they get they get their stuff out pretty quick. So. I know, but is it like really that nationwide to be? Yes. Oh dang, I didn't know it was that big. I mean, I've only been to Pizza Ranch a couple times, and to be honest, I haven't been blown away by their food. We uh, I, we also used to have a CC's pizza. Oh, I do remember that one. That I was do remember that CeCe's. was also a buffet place. That was like the exact same concept, except CC's is CeCe's. literally only focused on pizza, and Pizza Ranch has like. Yeah, I remember seeing commercials about it. Oh, yeah, right. I was like always, I always kept telling my parents, "Man, we should go. I want to go try that place out." But they never took me. Well, because they also had macaroni and cheese pizza, which is pizza, which is actually pretty good. Pizza Ranch has macaroni. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Except my dad has made the greatest macaroni and cheese pizza. <laughs> because, see, don't use cheddar cheese when you make macaroni and cheese pizza. Don't do it. Use white cheddar and Swiss. It tastes so or much cheddar better. Cheddar Jack. That's also a good option. Just straight up cheddar doesn't work, in my opinion. It's too thick to be a cheese on top of a pizza. But back to what I was saying. Yeah, I agree with you. Pizza Hut, that's number four. It's all the way at the bottom of the yeah. pool. And it's it's not close. They're far. I mean, I I can't be too bias toward this opinion because you know ours is pretty much understaffed and well yeah not. yeah and plus like the only people i noticed that work there are people our age or slightly yeah. older i mean for a long time because this pizza hut that we are we are referring to right now we have a bunch in our area but yeah. the one literally we only have two fast food places in the area mind you is very small we have yeah. we have a subway and a pizza hut, both of which the staffing situation is broken yeah. the management is not very good and they've just been going down for a while but back in the day it used to be like the prime spot oh, where people yes. would go get a job yes and on like honestly i wouldn't be opposed to getting a job there it's just pizza hut's food isn't good now yes now it's not the greatest i don't get why people like the crust their crust is the definition of cardboard crust it's super chewy it looks really weird and it doesn't just taste that good the one time i had so the reason why i now Pretty much dislike Pizza Hut's pizza. I don't like. I love their wings. Their wings are phenomenal. Their their wings aren't the greatest, but they are pretty good for fast food wings. Yeah. They're all right. But back on uh, so we ordered Pizza Hut and I and we got takeout. Yeah, I mean it's it's super cheap and they deliver. They pretty kind of messed up my father's order, so they threw out the pizza they they were currently and threw his in to get it cooked. I came like I was there done. That was my pizza. Oh, they threw your pizza out. Half of it was cooked. The other half was not. It was a meatball. It was a meatball oh, pizza. Oh, you told me this yeah. story. I, it takes a lot for me to nearly throw up instantaneously as I touch with my tongue. I took one bite of the half, non-half cooked pizza. Even think of it now. I want to regurgitate. I, it just, it was so bad. I I mean I've Eat, never had. An have you ever ate raw meatball? I've never eaten. I don't really even. Like, I don't even really like semi thawed raw meatball. Disgusting. It was horrible. 
Oh. <laughs> I mean, I. That, that, uh, uh, uh. Luckily, I ate the cooked half first. It was the second half that was not. Yeah. It was, I mean, oh god, I I want to start. Overall, off like pizza to cheese is slightly like sticky in my opinion. It, that's kind of with every pizza. I mean. Pizza Just cheese, because of like how textured the cheese is, it also depends on the Pizza cheese. Hut's cheese is probably the best quality of the pizza. But that's not saying a whole lot because their sauce, I don't like their sauce. Like their sauce, sauce is way too thick. They put way too much of it on. It well, doesn't. It depends on. Well, now you can choose like what type of sauce you want. Yeah. Well. Well, nowadays I've been I've started getting their thin crusts because that, that solves my crust issue, and I just don't get any sauce on it. I literally just get cheese and pepperoni. Uh, it, it tastes better than what you than anything yeah, else. Yeah, I so with my meatball, I I usually replace tomato sauce with their barbecue. Oh, their okay. their honey barbecue is yeah, like Pizza Hut. Just overall, in terms of quality and just the taste, it's the worst out of the four. And their breadsticks, people who defend their breadsticks, you're dumb. Their breadsticks are not good. They're, they're not so, horrible. They're so bland and just. Well, that's what a breadstick kind of is supposed to be. It's supposed to be it's like just, the like the seasonings that they put on it just aren't. Do you dip it in tomato sauce or no? Uh, I do, but I don't really like. I said I don't really like any of the sauces though. I don't know about it. Doesn't make sense. I, I'm, like the cheese sticks are alright. I used to love them when I was little, but now as I got older, I actually I forgot to mention. Well, since we live in the Midwest, we have a Happy Joe's. Yeah. Which is a Midwest only pizza chain. Really? Sure, it's Midwest only. I, well, because it was started here. I know it was started here. Yeah, but I, right. I I I don't I don't think it's nationwide. And plus, rip. Uh, Rip Joe. Rip Joe. Rip to Joe himself. Yeah, he Joe. he used to go into my grandma's restaurant frequently. We knew him personally. He passed away. But he was the founder of Happy Joe's, which is the best local-ish pizza spot around us. Yeah. Granted, they are way too overpriced. They're it's good food, but there are some items like that are way too expensive. Yeah. That's why like so. that's why I don't eat it very often with like my dad and stuff, because he's like, I'm not paying that much money for pizza. That's ridiculous. But that's not going to count towards the big four because we're only talking about the big four. My third is Domino's. I haven't had, I, I've had Domino's once, maybe twice. So I can't really have too much of an yeah. opinion on it. Well, see, I don't eat Domino's as much as I did when I was younger. When I was a lot younger, when uh, I keep on mentioning my, my dad, but all my pizza stories involve my dad. But we were living with his friend at the time because he couldn't really find his friend. So we were staying there, and he lived in a town, or, or the island, as I'll call it, the mm. island itself. Um, and on the island, uh, there was a Domino's like a block away from us. So we we ate it a lot, and I liked it when I was young, when I was really little. And then the pizza got really bad there for a bit. Like yeah. they they had to film a, an apology and like them documenting how they changed their food because oh. it got so bad. Okay. And then, then I ate it not too long ago because uh, there is a pizza place. There's a Domino's in, literally in the town over from my dad's house. So we went there and we ate it and we're like, it's actually not bad. And their crust is automatically garlic crust. I love garlic crust. However, so, with my family members, we do not. Yeah, that's weird. See, me and my dad love garlic crust. Like, it, it makes the crust better. Yeah. It really does. Which Domino's does it automatically, or at least I think they do. And it tasted good. Granted, it's not a go-to. I think it's pretty mid. It's not the best. Like, their other options aren't the greatest. But if you just get a standard pepperoni, it's 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 good food, and it's not the most expensive. And then my second is Papa John's, which people hate me because on my YouTube channel, Drango Feed, um, I did a fast food tier list, and all my friends know that I do it. So they always look at my tier list, and they make fun of me. I, I put Papa John's in A tier for fast food overall. Really? I get it. Papa John was a racist piece of garbage, but really, you, you don't you don't know about the scandal about how like he called his own employees like n words and stuff and tried hiding a bunch of really no. racist stuff. You haven't heard any of that. No, I have not. You need you you need to look up the interview that he had after he got fired about uh, the day of reckoning. He he's insane in that interview. So Papa John, yeah, he's a ra he's a racist scumbag, but the food is really good. <laughs> The garlic sauce that you could like, like I, I religiously get that whenever I eat Papa John's pizza. So good. Their wings aren't bad. They have more authentic wings than Pizza Hut, which again isn't saying a whole lot. Pizza Hut is like, yeah, are you talking about bone in or bone out? Bone, both. Okay. They're, they're, they're just a lot like the breading's a lot better. Yeah. Like it's not just like chicken nugget breading, you know what I mean? It's like actually like fried chicken breading. It tastes really good. 
Their breadsticks are better. Their cheese sticks are better. Like everything in Papa John's I think is super good. But and people really don't eat Papa John's. I notice around here. It's probably the least popular one. I've yeah. Ever seen yeah. Which sucks because it's probably one of the biggest in terms of money. Because it has an NFL or it used to have an NFL sponsor. I think it's still there. Yeah, I I forgot if they lost that after Papa John's stuff came out. But I yeah like but they had sponsorships with leagues and stuff. They were making a lot of money. But around here, it's by far the least popular. Nobody my age talks about it, and whoever does, they say they didn't like it because they had it once. I still eat Papa John's fairly frequently because that Papa John, that Domino's I mentioned, it's like right next to that Papa John's. So if we're ever feeling like either of those two, it's like a ten drive to it. And I've already mentioned this before in a previous podcast, but number one is Little Caesars. Little Caesars, see, in terms of food, it is the greasiest out of all. Food is delish, and the money. You can get a large, literally just made pepperoni pizza for $5 and some crazy bread. Yeah. That is such a steal. It's, it's, <laughs> it's uncanny. It, yeah, Little Caesars is great. I always get, so, I always get their, like, uh, meat lovers, deep dish. I yeah, always. I actually will say Little Caesars makes the best deep dish. Yeah, by far. I'm actually not a fan of deep dish, whether it be, like, standard pan deep dish or... Dare I say it, Chicago style deep dish, which where we live is heresy to say you don't like Chicago deep dish. I think it's the most overrated I'm, pizza. I don't ever. think I've ever had Chicago it deep dish. It tastes trash. I don't care what people say. <laughs> it's not good. The sauce on top is so dumb. The cheese is like just a layer of like it's it's it just reminds me of like provolone guy. It just like melts down like that. Oh, I know, but like it's, but it's, it's not like the consistency. Like you stick a block of provolone on it and it just melts. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's not like the consistency of like shredded mozzarella. It's something completely different, and the crust is like really airy and it's like pie crust. Do you know how bread works? Do you know how food works? <laughs> I'm just saying, pizza, pizza shouldn't have like a pie crust. That's so weird. Like what? Like pie crust. You know, you know, like how like it rises up in the back and goes up. Yeah. Yeah, that's how like Chicago style deep dish is, except it's a lot fatter. It looks it it just doesn't taste good. But Little Caesars deep dish tastes really good. That's the weird thing. It it's I I regret that I ate it fairly recently. I haven't eaten it all the time, but their deep dish pan pizza is really good. Yeah. And well, the crazy, I think I think theirs is I think Little Caesars is a little bit more greasier. I will say. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't mind that. So that's probably why it gives it like I gives it the grease flavor and whatnot. Yeah, but like the crazy bread, they may not be pretty, but they are oh delicious. Oh my god, they are good. The crazy bread, they're the best pizza breadsticks. That's that's just a fact. They're garlic and ranch. Good. Like, but the sad thing is, you have to eat them like that night. You can't let them go over a day or they're bad. Yeah, I mean, once once they go like a week more. Which is why at Little Caesars, you got to get the food fresh. you got to get the $5 hot and ready. Because sometimes they will give you one that's been sitting there for a while. I've actually learned just microwaving it as soon as you get home brings all that flavor back. And yeah. It tastes good. But yeah, get get the $5 hot and ready large pepperoni pizza and order a side of crazy bread. They're super cheap. Yeah. Like Little Caesars is ridiculously like, cheap. Whenever we get Little Caesars, we get like a bag of crazy bread for each of us. Yeah. It's so good and it's so cheap. Yeah, I mean, well, at my dad's house, too, we all get our own pizza. That's how cheap it is. Yeah. We, all, we all get our own large. Because, like, when we get, like, Pizza Hut or something or Papa John's, we'll split it. You know, like, we'll have, like, oh, this, this, and then this. Yeah. Because I, I always get pepperoni. My dad always gets, like, veggie or something. And then his girlfriend, I honestly, I don't really care. But, like, at Little Caesars, we'll just get all, we'll all get our own. That's just how it goes. Yeah. Because it's so cheap, which is great. Like, overpriced pizza is the worst kind of pizza. You, yeah. know, you don't want to spend 30 bucks on a medium pizza. That's that's ridiculous. Well, uh, I just ate. <laughs> <laughs> Look, rip, rip to Joe, but lower your prices, please. Yeah. I get it. it it's good food, but... But one thing Happy Joe's has over all these, cheese sticks. They're cheese sticks. <sighs> they I haven't had their cheese sticks in a while. They're rocking. I, I actually eat their cheese sticks more <laughs> than I eat their pizza. So, so the, one of the Happy Joe's that's nearby in my life, it's, uh, it also has a bar and grill. Yeah, yeah. I get the Happy Joe's, like, I think it's called the Happy Joe Burger. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It is so good. 
I've I've always had it. It's so good. Though. But but the one thing Happy Joe's does worse than all these, cutting the pizza. Why are they? S- they're Shh. what? So yeah. So no you, no. Casey's. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Around here, Casey's is like the gas station yeah. place for us. It also kind of doubles as it's a mid restaurant. It's a mid. Yeah. Because they sell their own pizza, chicken sandwiches, and stuff. It's literally just gas station food. The pizza is better than something like Seven Elevens, but the cutting on their pizza is so bad. Yeah. Granted, the people working there, no offense to, because I know someone who works at our local case. Yeah. No offense, guys, but you're doing a bad job. <laughs> just give it a little bit more. Ooh, just press yeah. down a little bit harder, and then then we. I'll actually it. say, get, getting the because see, you can get your you can get the pizza two ways. You can get it in a box like. A, an actual full-on pizza, or you can get the, the individual slices. Yeah, getting the individual slices tastes better than the individual. Yeah, because well, because the individuals are sitting in an oven, just going around. Oh, those, yeah, yeah. So they're a lot warmer. They taste better. Just ordering the pizza, it tastes worse. Because once that stuff cools down, Casey's pizza turns into the worst kind of pizza. It's so sort of. weird tasting. Sort of. I will also say Casey's wings. They're not bad. Oh. I can I can and their cheese sticks aren't bad either, although they're wickedly similar to Pizza Hut. But granted, the Casey's and Pizza Hut are literally across the street from each other. You literally just go to the side and there you go. <laughs> like, like 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 just across a couple houses and then there you go. You're at the Casey's and Pizza Hut, like right next door. And then right behind the Pizza Hut is our subway. Yeah. Like literally the exact same parking lot, basically. It is the same parking lot. So welcome to Tiny Town USA where we live. Welcome to Villagers. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, we live in a very small area, but yeah. yeah, that was my topic. Just talking about pizza because I felt and I don't think I'm eating pizza today. Yeah. So it's your turn. We almost well, have ten minutes left. My so. my topic is basically shot since we have it was mainly going to be about esports. Yeah. But the two other people who play esports are not here, so it would make more sense to. Like do preserve it. it yeah do it for probably next week well for at least the foe being here for the episode yeah scott well he's been leaving a lot more than me yeah so yeah and i mm. so i guess if we're going to stay on the topic of food i guess this will just be a food podcast food review podcast um what so how about your out of states like your out of state actually no barbecue your barbecue restaurants around here. I see. I don't frequent barbecue restaurants, which is weird. Because really? barbecue isn't my favorite thing in the world. I know saying that as a white American. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like, oh, whoa, <laughs> look, dude, what are you talking about? But I will tell you, anywhere I've gone, barbecue pulled pork sandwiches, top three sandwich all time. It de- yes, but it also depends on like what type of barbecue sauce is in yeah. it. And type I of pork prefer spicier barbecue, which yes. surprisingly, because I'm the guy who loves spicy food, but like spicier barbecue sauce with freshly pulled pork on whatever kind of bun, I don't care as long as you toast my bun, I'm fine with it. Yeah, put it on with some <laughs> chips. It's so good. It's so good. It's just good. It's I mean it's it's not my favorite sandwich of all time, but I think it might be number two. So out of the barbecue places I have gone, there was one down in uh Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines. Des Moines. Oh my god. Des, I hate Des, Moines. Des Moines. Welcome to Des Moines. Uh, anyway. Uh I forgot what the barbecue place was down there, but it was so good. Like we our whole family got one item. Yeah. One item. They literally serve it. On a trash can lid, it's just meat and barbecue. Dang. Different variant types of meats, barbecues, just dig it. It was so good, and it fills you up right. We even had leftovers. We had so much leftover. I'm I'm about to say something that will be described as a uh, getting sent to hell meal. Oh, God. Barbecue ribs are overrated. Bruh! Uh, I said it. I ah, said it. I no. said it. Barbecue ribs are overrated. What? I have never really been that big of a fan of ribs. Never have. Okay, well, it depends on what, where you eat them and how you and what you. Restaurants got. homemade. I, they're they're easily the last thing I go to. We had Texas Roadhouse. I have actually I forgot about Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse is pretty good. 
They, there you go. So but, you do like ribs. However, no, no. I, I said they were pretty good. At Texas Roadhouse, I said, they're steak. And granted, though, steak is one of my favorite foods. The rib is the steak. Who wants to see the rib? I don't care, okay? <laughs> when it comes to eating a food that I have to, like, hold on to and chew like that, I, I see Barbecue wings, dude. Delicious. But granted, at a barbecue or if I go to a barbecue place, I typically get pork. Or some kind of pork. Which pork isn't even my favorite kind of meat. I think that might go to, like, beef or fish. But for some reason, I, whenever there's a barbecue, pork is just elevated. Pork and barbecue. It's delicious. I mean, yeah, they're they're well, anything dealing with pork and beef barbecue is a good combo. Yeah, and then you just have then you have chicken, which has its own type of sauce, uh, top sauce variations. But then you also have turkey. You have uh, lamb. I mean, well, at my house sometimes it's venison. Here, one time though, me and my dad actually made uh, bison burgers. Really? No joke. They're the best burgers that I've ever had in my life. It's- I, they are expensive, though. I would it's, bet because bison it's a, is... It's a very rare meat. Yeah. In terms of, like, mass Le- production. Le- yeah, yeah, legal it's a, reason. Yeah, it's a very rare meat. But we got, we got, like, four. Okay, and it was a lot of money. But we ate them two nights in a row. They were that good. Really? They are... They're massive, though, because bison gets bison's a lot of meat. Big. They, they're big. They're big. big. But, oh, it was so good. Which, honestly... Bison might be the best over, like the best meat I've ever had, but I've only had it once. It's it's delicious. Yeah, it is. And venison, of course, well, my dad hunts, so now I, which is weird because I am a very indoorsy person. He hunts and he been killing deer. The rut literally was just him. Yeah. So my my uh, my dad loves deer meat. My dad has been raised on deer meat. He yeah. Deer jerky and all that. Mother does not really like it that much. My mom doesn't like deer meat, but I don't think she's ever had it. My mother has, uh, and my and which is weird. There's my stepdad. She married a man who likes literally all kinds of meat. My stepdad has eaten snake, frog, bison, alligator. But granted, a lot of his family is from like he has a he has an aunt down south. I was gonna say from the south. He has an aunt from Fort Lauderdale. Way so, down there. Yeah. So he plus a lot of his. Very expanded family is southern, like yeah. to us at least, uh, like southern parts of Missouri heading down. Yeah, I know that, but um, so of course he eats all those different kinds of meats, and he loves all of them. But my mom will never let him make it because really? she doesn't. <laughs> so what? <laughs> I mean, I I've never had frog legs before. I've never had alligator, like all those I've never had. Mm. And in terms of like deer beef, I've ever had. Uh, I mean. I've been told both those things taste like chicken. Squirrel I've eaten. Squirrel is all right. I've, I've also been told that tastes like chicken. <laughs> I don't think it's, it looks like chicken. My, my mother has had squirrels. She's had alligators. She's had Pheasant. frogs. Pheasant. She said all four of those, even fish, taste like chicken. Fish chick- doesn't taste like chicken. The, all right, no offense. You, that lady's never eaten fish in her life. I, she has. Fish has a very defined flavor. It is by far the strongest meat. She, she had uh, salmon. What'd you just get? That's the most basic fish. I mean, I she like said, salmon. She's had salmon and she's had bass. And she said both those taste like chicken. I don't know what. I I I, don't, I think her taste buds are a little bit out of whack because I'm every like, single every person has different taste buds. Everything tastes wrong. like chicken to you. Like what? Because like fish has like a completely different consistency. Oh it's, yeah, it's flaky. It and plus it has like the more defined and strong flavor. Chicken yeah. doesn't. Have I I will say this. I don't like fish. I've had fish before. I will say tilapia, fried tilapia is delicious. But that was just like one type of fish. Yeah. So I haven't had yeah. another. I would say expanding to other types of fish would they are good. Like salmon is basic, but it's all right. Tuna, I've never been into tuna. Shrimp, I've had shrimp. Shrimp is overrated. I've never had it. It just depends. I don't mind it, but I just can't eat a lot. Of when it comes to seafood, calamari is my favorite. That's that's squid. So, really? so for the people out there, I think squid is the best. Just go food. to Japan. <laughs> Look, man, I've had Korean style. I've had Japanese style. I've oh, had... so where it's still basically alive on your plate. Uh, well, no, 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 <laughs> not like that. That that that's considered a different kind of fish. That's really? that's technically not calamari. It's called something else. 
but I've had like fried calamari and stuff like that, and it's so good. Just don't let it linger for too long, because if it gets cold, it turns rubbery. Mm. You gotta eat it warm. There's this one time I was in Florida, like me and my grandpa went down to the hotel bar, and they would always let me sit there. It was freezing, and I would drink virgin pina coladas on the ocean, and they had calamari, and it was Korean style. It was made in a peanut broth with peanuts crunched over it with cabbage. Mm-hmm. And it was really good. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, to get those oils in there, to get the oil to kind of like fry it up yeah. a bit. And you could still see like the tentacle coming out of the fry or like the batter. It was the best calamari I've ever had in my life. So yeah, if you've never had calamari, I know it sounds disgusting for some people. <clears throat> like eating mini squid, that doesn't sound great, but trust me, it is Especially dipping it in like a special kind of sauce that they'll give you. Have a sauce. It's like the it, I had a weird red sauce with it before. Oh, a soy sauce? No, what? No, it wasn't soy. Sauce. It was a very. It looked like a weird version of marinara. It was a very sweet red sauce. Oh, um, sriracha? No, I literally don't. I I couldn't tell you what this is. It's sriracha. Sriracha. That's what it like. It's it, it's like a thick sauce and it's red, but it doesn't taste like any other red sauce you've ever had in your life. It tasted good though. Oh wait, hold on. What is the content of Carnia? Are you talking about like what we talked about before? Because we're almost done. <laughs> yeah, five seconds is almost done with my four. But if you're wondering what we talked about beforehand, oh yeah, so our first topic we ate Pringles. Uh, we had pizza, barbecue, ranch, and buffalo ranch, and we just talked about yeah, Pringles. Yeah, gave a review over that. Yeah, and then we it, talked about pizza. Yeah, I gave a review about pizza. Our opinion about fast food, and and I and now we're on a chart of. What was barbecue, which that, still kind of is. That has elevated to seafood. seafood. So, but yeah, you got here with like a minute left. Yeah. So, ugh. you can come once the stream's end, it will be back up on the channel. You can go back and watch it and previous yeah. episodes as well. Well, because plus there's only two of us here today. Yeah. So, you also got a very limited podcast no matter what. If you want to drop a follow, we, we do do this every Wednesday at around 3 30. So, if you want to come by. Yeah, I mean the the only the only reason why we'd be late is because someone is already doing something. Yeah. So, fair enough. Yeah. All right, Sorry, bud. But well, uh, hope you'll enjoy the content later. Thank you for actually like coming out though. Yeah, we, I we, very much we, appreciate. We, it. Yeah, we do very much appreciate people coming out and checking us out because this is for school. And if we weren't doing this, we'd be losing points. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, uh, you want to close it out here? Yeah. Today? Well, yeah. Since the Scott is not here today, so. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who came out and watched this. If you sneeze today, bless you. And uh, what is it? Refrigerator. That is true. Yeah. That is true. That's a yes. But um, thank you all for coming out. And uh, again, we'll be up again next Wednesday at 3.30 unless something happens. And I will hand it back over to Peyton. Yeah. All right. Thank you anybody who's coming out, especially uh, Bath Club. Bath Club. Above? I'm sorry, my dude. But thank you for coming out. Come follow the channel. Come subscribe. It'll also be up on my YouTube channel, uh, Flying Saucer Triple Six, YouTube.com. Yep. Cast Bubs, thank you for the follow. See you again next week. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you anybody for coming out. Come follow us again.